What's going on everybody? Welcome to After Prison Show and it's been a long time since we've done any prison painting and that's exactly what I want to do today. You know for those of you who may not know, art was a major part of how I got through all of my time. Whether it was tattooing or at the last prison I was at where I became a mural painter painting pictures all over the walls. And in between the time of me doing both of those two things right there, I was also what I considered some sort of like mediocre cartoonist. I used to love making cartoons to portray all of the crazy things that I was experiencing, seeing, and just dealing with being locked up. And again, it's been a long time since I've been able to share any of that with you guys. And today, I want to do just that. I want to paint a picture for you guys today. It's going to be a prison cartoon. And what it's going to be, it's going to be a Touch em Two Times Tommy. I'm going to be painting a cartoon version of that character that a lot of you guys here like. And some of you here don't like too much at all. You know, I had considered doing this entire video as Touch em Two Times Tommy, but... Decided not to do that because I don't know how long this video is going to be. And a lot of you can't really stand touching two times Tommy for any time, let alone a lot of time. But that's what I'm going to be painting in this video. And what I want to showcase most with this is how quickly or how not so quickly I can complete a prison cartoon painting picture from start to finish. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time talking in this video. Most of what you're going to be seeing is just the creation process of this. So without further ado, what do you say we go ahead and do? So many times, so many times I would have to touch them two times. And you know, sometimes they wouldn't want me to touch them one time, but I had to touch them two times. Fuck! Head first into this prison cartoon painting video. Okay, I gotta remember if I even know how to paint at all. Okay, I've got this. So the first thing that I'm going to start with, as you can see, is just a blank canvas right here. And we're going to go ahead and rough out what we intend to turn into our final creation. So I'm going to need to put Touch Him Two Times Time. He's head in here somewhere. We're going to go like so. Let's go ahead and make sure we see where this guy is going to be at. I'm going to put his little body in here. What's going to be his arms? And what we're going to have Touch Him Two Times Tommy doing in this picture is holding up the not one times, not three times, um, but two times. So Touch Him Two Times Tommy. It doesn't even feel right when I'm not wearing the wig. Not one time, not three times, only two times. You touch him, then finito. Touch Him Two Times Tommy. When I would create these cartoons while locked up, it would not take me very long at all. And again, I can't emphasize the fact that I was a mediocre cartoonist. I hope you guys are able to see what I'm just roughing out on this canvas. If you can't, don't worry. You will be able to see that uh, very shortly. So we're going to put some little ears on this dude right here. We're going to put an eyeball in right here. Put some little thick old eyebrows on this dude because Joe's got him some... I mean, touch him two times time, he's got some pretty thick eyebrows that he used to say that he had a unibrow, but I swear it's not connected. Sorry, I got a little emotional right there. Now the main part of Touch Up Two Times Tommy that definitely stands out is going to be his hair. We got to put that little pencil thin mustache on that people keep telling me I need to go ahead and chop off. But it's definitely his hair. So we're going to go ahead and put this big old wig on this dude. And the wig is just all over the place. So we're going to put, we're going to just rough out a section that's going to be Touch Up Two Times Tommy's hair. Now this doesn't need to be perfect right now. We're just again roughing out what this thing is going to be looking like to start with. This is going to give me a good idea of what I need to do when coming to put this thing together. So we got an arm right here. Let's go ahead and move that arm just a little bit. This hand he's going to be saying, not one time. Definitely want to put some big old fingers on this dude. but three times. All right, we got his little pants right here. He's got a long little shirt on because Joe's always wearing some crazy t-shirts. And we're just gonna put a little line right here across the bottom because anytime I do cartoons, that's usually what I do. I put me a little line for my cartoons. That's the end of the cartoon. I usually put my signature somewhere right there. And down here is potentially where I'm going to be putting the little saying of what this painting is actually going to say. So just that fast, I've already roughed out what this painting is potentially going to be. 
Now I need to go ahead and put some hard lines on this painting and the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to use a Sharpie marker. That way once I go to start throwing the paint on the canvas, I'm not going to lose these lines that I'm going to be turning into touch two times time. So I got my nifty little nice Sharpie right here. Let's go ahead and start putting him together. now and see what it comes out looking like you know one thing about it it might not look the greatest right now but throw some paint on this canvas and get that fine tune looking just right it's definitely gonna look a lot better so let's see what we can do with some paint we got us a couple of colors right here we're gonna go ahead and try to mix this up a little skin tone and what we're gonna be doing first and foremost is blocking in the color now this is just putting in a preliminary amount of paint Let's go ahead and just start adding a little paint to this canvas. Now the good thing again about using these permanent markers is you can paint right over top of that and you're going to be able to see the lines that you need to see when you go back and do your fine tuning. This is a little prison trick that I learned or somebody taught me, I can't really remember. But what this did for me was allow me to get the paintings that I was working on in the prison done pretty quickly. And anything that you do in prison, you're going to have to learn to do it pretty fast. Whether it's tattooing, whether it's doing art for somebody, whether it's having a prison job, you're going to have to do it pretty quick. Because most of the time, you're not going to have a lot of time. You're going to be dealing with lockdowns, you're going to be dealing with counts, you're just going to be dealing with all sorts of things. So you got to learn to work really fast while locked up. No matter what it is that you're doing. And one thing you're going to notice as I do this painting... It's not even going to matter if I get outside the lines a little bit. Not at first, at least. But I am trying to stay inside the lines as much as I can. But if I get outside of them, it ain't going to matter. So we blocked in his skin tone just that quickly. And now we're going to move on. I need to make an orange. I've got to make it look like Tommy's wearing him an orange shirt. Because Tommy always be wearing an orange shirt. Tommy is always locked up. You know, I can remember my mother asking me when I came home. She said, Tommy, Tommy, what, what is up with this name? Why is everybody calling you Touch Him Two Times Tommy? I remember you when you were just a little bambino. It was just Tommy. Now it's all of this Touch Him Two Times Tommy. Like, what is this? And I said, Ma, listen to me. You know, it's prison. Some things that happen in prison, they tend to stay in prison. Next question, Ma. Next question. She never really understood the whole touch him two times Tommy thing, and I can understand that. Well, it's a little redder than orange, but that's all right. We'll be able to deafen that out a little bit as we continue on. There we go. We're getting a little bit more of an orange right there. All right. But we'll get that when we come back. All right, so we've blocked out Tommy's clothes. Tommy's going to be wearing him a little jumpsuit. He's going to be wearing him an orange shirt, orange pants. Next, we're going straight to his hair. Tommy's wears that big old black wig. Now, I am being careful not to get into these fingers with this hair color, because that will be a hard color to remove. And again, mind you, this is only the first coat of paint. So once we really start putting paint to this canvas, uh, this thing's going to definitely start taking off for us. I know you're probably looking at this right now like, Joe, what... What the, the heck are you doing, man? This joint looking kind of, kind of shaky right now. All right, let's go ahead and add a little background color to our painting. Now we're gonna make this just a super, super light blue, as light as we can get this. Now while I'm doing this background. This is where I gotta start paying more attention to what I'm actually doing with this brush. I don't want to be going inside of what I've already painted. It's okay to do that at first, but now I'm really trying to fine tune this thing. Well, this is gonna be the beginning of me trying to fine tune it.
And I really want to hear what you guys have to say about this. What are you thinking this thing is going to turn out like? You think it'll be good? You think it'll be trash? Let me know. Definitely interested to hear what you have to say. Do you enjoy me doing these painting videos? Do you hate me doing them? You know, it's crazy to think that when I first came home from prison, I actually did a couple of paint night events. I actually tried to get a job with paint night. And I actually had a Facebook page uh, that I created called Paint Night with Joe. I forgot about it. It's been so long. It's been so long ago. And uh, Paint Night actually went and got that Facebook page shut down. Because I, I guess it was a copyright for me using anything with the word Paint Night. So let's not give a shout out to Paint Night. Because they never called me back when I tried to get a job with them neither. Oh, you want to do Paint Night? And you've been locked up. Ah. You learned how to paint in prison, you know, gee, that's, that's swell and all, but, um, I don't think it's going to work out. I'm just trying to do me some paint night events. I did like two or three of them. So I switched off to a smaller brush, that way I can get in some of these fine little nooks and crannies here. The only color I'm not really worried about going into is the hair. That's the only color that's not going to be really messed up by me going into it. So I can be a little free and loose around old Tucker Two Times Tommy's hair. All of the blocking done. Now, we're gonna have to let this dry. As Soon as this dries, we're gonna come back, we're gonna fine tune this sucker. Woo, sliding all over the place. Okay, we've let our paint set up and dry. It's time to go in and start fine tuning this thing. Now, the first thing that we're gonna have to fine tune is that background that we just got done painting. Because that's going to be what we don't want to have to go back into. You always want to do your background of your painting first and then work your way out of the painting. Go ahead and get some water on this brush right here. Now I'm lightening this blue even more because I really want this blue to be light. I want this to be a light color blue behind touch of two times time. And again, you can see me going all in the hair like I don't even care. But again, that's going to be okay. The hair... Like I had mentioned earlier, is the only thing that I ain't got to worry about getting any paint on. Everything else, I want to take my time and really be careful going around it. And that is the background. All right, with our background dry, let's get into some skin tone. Now we've done thus far as just blocked in Tommy's skin tone. This is where we're actually going to start really trying to do something with this. Alright. We've been rocking and rolling on this. Starting to come out looking a little bit like something now. Let's go ahead and really start fine tuning. Old Tommy eyeballs, Tommy teeth, Tommy's mouth, and now while we wait on all of this to dry, we're going to go ahead and put in that hair, and that hair is something fierce. Now this hair This hair has really got to be there. But that's it. Just wanted to do this little painting for you guys. Do a little touch of two times Tommy right here. And I think it came out looking pretty good. You know, comment down below what do you think this painting should be saying. Not one time, not three times, but two times. It's probably the best thing to put under here. And also let me know what you think about this painting. Do you think it's horrible? Do you think it's trash? Do you think... Just let me know what you think. Hey, look. That's it. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did so, please leave a like and a comment letting me know exactly what you thought about it. As always, until next time, enjoy life, the free world, never take a moment for granted, and make the most of every day.